Hi guys, we're back at Smash Fishing. I'm getting blinded by the sun. We're down the beach where my boat is and we're gonna go find some crab pots that might be washed up on the rocks. I've got three strings that I'm pretty certain have moved, so hopefully there's a lobster in it. And we're gonna go foraging as well. I've got the prawn net, so it's gonna be a bit of a mixed bag today. I can't see anything, so stay tuned. Make sure you hit that like button. It's Smash Fishing, baby, woo! Fingers crossed, my pots ain't smashed up. I haven't been able to get out to move my pots into the deeper water because of the weather. You can see the weed on the beaches. We've had awful weather lately. Really high winds with a big swell. We're gonna go check my boat later as well, but first of all, let's go find some seafood. Nice size cockle there. I'll hold on to that for now, just in case we start finding a few more. The beach has been washed up a lot now, so there's a good chance there'll be a few bits turned over. That is a beautiful big one, that. That's more like what you want. Golf ball size. <laughs> See my bobber just there in the rocks, guys. Just trying to find my rope. I know it's down here somewhere. This one's definitely gonna dry. It hasn't moved, which is good. It's always a good sign with the roll. When I say the roll, there's been a really big wave every sort of few minutes and it'll crash the, the pots up the rocks, especially at high tide. So uh, it's nice to see the pots ain't moved. But I'm gonna try and pull them while I'm here. Why not? We're out for some seafood. Oh, beautiful day though. We got 30 mile an hour winds today. Beautiful sunny day though. My first pot's just down here. We've still got an hour and a half till low tide as well. And look at that. <laughs> any lobsters there's a little lobster in there no keepers though as you can see little baby lobster I'll try and biff them out if I can the other rope's going along there, so we'll just check that pot and we'll head to the other strings. Come on, give us a keeper. There's some lobsters in there. Is that one gonna be a keeper? Definitely gonna have to measure a couple of these. Nice. Are they gonna be keepers? That is the big question. That one there. Nope, that one's under. One lobster. And this one's gonna be very close. And that one there. Nope, she's out about four mil, that one. Two lobsters, two small. At least my pots are all right. I'm gonna throw this out of the rocks now and then we're gonna head round to the other ones. The oyster beds are looking a bit worse for wear. Look at that. They've been here a very long time, these oyster beds. Oysters still look quite small. They're only about three inches. I remember a few years ago when I came down here, they were only like this, little baby things. Oh, beautiful day. I'm a bit sick at the moment. I've got a cold, so it's nice to get out in the fresh air. Let the nose run wild as it does. Let's check these sea hairs out. That's called the sea hair. You can see the two sort of floppy ears at the top there. These things, they give off a really purple dye in the water. It's quite a lot around this time of year. It's got to be their breeding season. But yeah, the beaches often will be purple and it'd be because of these. I'm gonna go see if there's any prawns in here. I'm just gonna go into the deeper part where there's a lot more seaweed. We're just gonna run the net just along the edges of the rocks just to see if there's any prawns around. You can see my bobber just in front of us. 
the tide's still got a good hour to go down yet as well so that's definitely going to dry out and that's my inkwell krill the one where i put krill entrances into an inkwell certainly not many prawns around here at the moment <laughs> i'm not finding any you can see my other string just there that one's not moved much this one definitely washed into the reef as that tide goes down a bit more we'll come back to this and we just move the pots out deeper and i'll get them on the next tide problem with 30 mile an hour winds you just can't move them <laughs> so we got here look two species of the porcelain crab this one right here is called the long claw porcelain crab this one here is called the broad claw porcelain crab Nice that we get both of them on one rock. Some cushion stars. Pretty little starfish. Just gonna see where the where the pots go to. They're certainly wrapped in the boulders. <laughs> Chances are foragers have been to this already. But you never know. There might be a larry somewhere around here. Oh, I see it. There's the first pot. And there it is. Oh, there's a lobster in there. So, hey, that could be a keeper, that one. <laughs> I didn't even see that for a second. Right. Let's get I'm pretty sure that's a keeper. Judging by the size of that shell there. Oh, it's full of eggs. Look at that guys. Lovely big lobster. Look at those eggs. All lovely and brown as well, so they're fertilizing well. So as always, females with eggs, they always go back. Very nice. Hopefully we get a keeper in the next pot. That was very pleasant to see. I've pulled my rope out of the rocks as well. Like I say, because we've had a big swell lately, these pots got moved around a lot, so I'm actually really happy that I can get down here and just sort them out. We've still got one more string to go yet as well, so we shall see. See what's in this little creel pot. It's quite fun doing this. <laughs> Where is it? Oh, there it is. Oh, we got spider crabs. There's a lobster in there. Nice. I don't know if that lobster's going to be a keeper, but that spider crab definitely is. Very nice. There we go, little lobster. I'm just gonna grab that spider crab. Right there, there's a nice edible spider crab right there. I'm gonna munch on that, why not? Just lock the pot up, which is proven pretty tricky. There we go. At least my pots are checked now. When it hits low water, I'll come back out here and I'll push them out the reef. But we've got a nice spider. We've got a nice something to eat today. And we've got two more pots to pull at the end yet. And we've got all the lobster holes to check. So hopefully we have a good day of it. Very nice spider. Beautiful. We've got three cockles and a spider crab so far. <laughs> Bobbers are wrapped up in the rocks here. just shows this is what happens guys you get big tides and the rope does this where it wraps up in the rocks and then you think your pots are missing but they're not they're just anchored down in the rocks there we go i'll be able to pull that out now perfectly and we're good to go little baby ormer down there it is actually an ormer in tide but I'm not actually going for Ormers. 
Look at the guns on that. It's like Arnie. It's the Xampho crabs. I thought my pots were over there. There's one here. <laughs> See what's in it. And there is nothing at all in that one. But where's the other one then? That one's been washed up, the other one must have. Quite a swell. Whoa, that was a big swell, that one. Just a few small stuff in that one, guys. Not much at all. That swell's crazy. Oh, at least I've checked my pots. They're all safe. And we even got a spider crab out of it. <laughs> Whoa. Hey, there's an Orma. Scratched the hell out of my hand then. There's quite a few ones. That I wonder if that one's a keeper. Sort of finding a bit of a seafood mix at the moment. And that one there. Yep, that's a keeper. Found ourselves an Orma. Like I said, I wasn't going for Ormas today. That one there's bang on the gauge. Look at that. <laughs> I wasn't going for almonds today, but I'll take them if I see them. Let's get this rock back. Lovely to see, this year has been insane. The last three years, we've seen so many ormas. So whatever we're doing, I think it's because they banned the diving of them quite a long time ago now. So we're reaping the benefits of it now, I believe. I just found it under this rock. I believe that's another keeper. I don't usually orm around here because Often you just you don't find much But today since I'm not trying to find them. I'm finding them. How interesting <laughs> Couple more there guys a bit small Trying to move stones with one hand is not easy There we go almost there nice and snug beautiful I've just found a beauty. Look at that. That is an old Orma right there. You can see the brittle shell there. Check that out. This is what happens. We said it in previous videos where the Ormas would get this size and then the shell will start rotting like that. And it goes really soft and then they die. Great size Orma. Little baby top knot. turning out to be a bit of a mixed bag forage this one <laughs> well forage slash crab pots that's for sure got a few warmers a couple of cockles we've got a nice spider crab what other goodies are we going to find hopefully some lobsters been an interesting little day today a bit more of a vlog day i had to go and rescue my crab pots and uh yeah i'm glad we've got a spider crab and a few warmers i'm quite sick at the moment so uh I had a nice slow forage and then I found my dog an ice ball <laughs> very nice so yeah all I'm gonna do now guys I'm just gonna work my way up the beach and then uh, I'm gonna go check my boat and then I'll see you in the kitchen for a nice cook-up happy days my dad's boat looking all pretty and clean what a vessel this one is there's a lobster claw there's a lobster claw there you go what a tank this thing is very nice there's an old mole my little commercial boat we're expecting 40 mile an hour winds tonight, so just wanted to come down, make sure everything was shackled up properly. She's kind of come up at, well, probably the end of this month or next month, and she's gonna have all new gunnels put on. I'm gonna get rid of all the horrible piping, new paint, new anti-foul, new boxes. I'm gonna completely pimp this boat out because I absolutely love this boat. Great little fishing boat. Engine's gonna have a service. 
and she'll look nice and clean at the moment she is well used <laughs> we're back in the kitchen now guys we've got our nice spider crab here it's not a monster but well in the legal size limit usually as long as it's about my hand like that as long as it's about my hand then i'll take it the legal size limit's only about that it's crazy but hey nothing we can change no one really takes the small ones anyway so we get a bit of meat out of this we've got a few cockles here and then we've got our ormers for our dessert delicious but just for now i'm just going to boil this up get this cooked i'm going to have a nice coffee because i'm sick and then we're going to make a nice delicious meal later it's all about that seasoning crab is dispatched and in the water so I'll give this a good 10 minutes now because it's not a giant crab it's just about a medium size so about 10 minutes would be perfect for cooking with some delicious spider meat You can't beat the smell of a freshly cooked spider crab. Look at that bad boy. Oh, that's delicious. And wow, looking forward to eating this later. So I'll see you later on in the kitchen, guys. And we've got some little ingredients here. I'm not doing anything special. I'm gonna do a crispy tortilla wrap filled with nice crispy orma and spider crab. I kept some of the inner shell on that one as well. And just a few simple ingredients, garlic, salt, pepper, and butter. I'm gonna get it in there and munch on it. So what I'm gonna do with this Orma, I'm just gonna cut it into nice thin slices. And then we're gonna have nice little thin wafer bits of Orma inside of our little wrap there. Be a tasty little treat. I didn't fancy anything big, so I'm going out soon. So as always, I like a nice, quick, simple meal. So we've got all of our slices of Orma there. Looking all nice and pretty. All I'm gonna do is just slice up our garlic a little bit. Beautiful. So all we're gonna do now, we're just gonna fry up our Orma. Just going in just a little bit of garlic. Turn the heat down. We've got some sea salt, nice bit of black pepper, and that is as good as it's going to get. I'm just going to fry this off so the orma goes nice and tender, and we'll add that to our nice tortilla wrap. I don't know if this is cheating or not, but I can guarantee this is going to taste good if I can turn it on. There we go. Be a nice little pocket for all of our seafood. Look at that. Nice and crispy. This bad boy is ready for action. Nice and crispy on the outside, soft in the middle. Oh yeah. Let's warm up the crab meat a little bit. Mix it in with our aroma. I'm not putting any lettuce or anything with this today. I just want a lovely seafood wrap. That there is a meal fit for a king. Delicious. Crab and abalone. I don't know what I'd call that. Tortilla wrap in a toaster. <laughs> so there we go, guys. A beautiful toaster crispy seafood wrap. Is what I'm going to call it. I haven't got a clue what to call it. Uh, hey, I bet it tastes good. Nice bit of garlic in there. Nice bit of Guernsey butter. 
and some crab, and some good old abalone. Ooh. Oh, the taste of warm spider crab is amazing. Mm, probably not the healthiest meal with all the butter, but I need the energy at the moment. Oh, that's so tasty. Look at that. Steam coming out of it. I love simple meals like this. This is why I this is why I make a lot of like rolls and sandwiches and stuff like that. Lay down. It's because I like the quick, easy meals that taste good. Mmm. That warmer just falls apart. When you cut it so thin like that and cook it for a while, it goes so delicate that it gives a nice little bite to the uh, to the crab as well. I had to get out to my crab pots because um, I was really worried that they were going to be thrown up the beach. But luckily, like they didn't move that far, the ones that did move. So I know I can get back to them. I'm actually going tomorrow to pick them up, put them into deeper water and uh, wait a couple of pots as well. So any storms that come in in the next month or so, then hopefully they don't move. So stay tuned for the next episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. I thought I'd take you along. I wasn't actually going to film, so I don't usually film like rescuing my pots and stuff, but I thought I would and it actually made an interesting video. So make sure to hit the like button, subscribe if you're not subscribed. If you want any merch, the link's in the description. It's going to take me the best part of two bites. The smash fishing, baby. Woo! Mmm.